When it comes to HIPAA compliance, security, and proof, many organizations have a mile-long list of decisions that they need to make, especially when you factor in auditing, fines, and HIPAA violations that are basically inevitable at this point. If an audit comes up, what documents do you need to prove that you have received HIPAA training? Would a certificate even help prove that you completed training related to HIPAA? Can a business become certified or just employees? There are a few things to consider when trying to answer these questions. First, we need to talk about what the Department of Health and Human Services, also known as the HHS, has to say about the matter. After all, they're the ones who can impose hefty fines on your organization if you fail an audit. Second, we need to discuss the validity of a certificate and why it could be useful. Finally, we need to answer the question of the day. How do you become HIPAA certified? Hi everyone, I'm Matt from Tactics, and today I'm going to talk about how to become HIPAA certified. Before we get started though, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. While you're down there, hit the alert bell icon next to it as well so when we post new helpful content, you get notified. The HHS says that compliance is an ongoing process and thus they do not enforce any type of HIPAA related certification. There isn't even an official HHS mandated certification process or accreditation. Their philosophy is just because you are HIPAA compliant now doesn't mean that your organization will be compliant five years from now. So what happens if you have an audit coming around? How would certifications come into play? Well, the HHS on its website says that certifications do not absolve covered entities of their legal obligations under the security rule. Moreover, the performance of a certification by an external organization doesn't prevent the HHS from subsequently finding a security violation. That being said, the HHS website specifically states that certification for healthcare employees is different from ones for covered entities. HIPAA certifications for healthcare workers can serve as proof that employees have completed the training materials provided. In this respect, documented HIPAA certifications for healthcare workers limits the liability of the organization in the event of a HIPAA violation or data breach caused by employee misconduct or data breaches. HIPAA doesn't require employees to complete any specific training program. That said, they do need to have training in some matter. Just because HIPAA doesn't specify a specific training made by a specific company doesn't mean that you don't have to train your employees at all. HIPAA also does not require employees to get a certification. This is because compliance does have an expiration date. You can also face legal consequences in the event of a breach, even if you have taken training that was imposed upon you. It's important to note that certificates still act as proof of training on your employees though. Proof of training and compliance is necessary and can be very useful to you. That's why certifications are often provided when an employee completes a third party training program. If the certificate has a signature and a date, it helps act as proof that you completed the training for that year on that specific time. One other option you can take is to hire a third party to provide HIPAA training for you. Since HIPAA compliance is so vital to healthcare organizations and covered entities, many companies use a third party company to provide employees with HIPAA training. Not only that, but a third party can also help implement effective compliance programs on you as well. HIPAA compliance experts create training that is relevant to the roles of the employees. They can also help provide proof that the training was completed. This is often done by issuing a certification to verify that employees have attended the HIPAA training course. Of course, you could always make your own training related to HIPAA laws and regulations. There are some problems that come with this strategy though. This includes technicalities on the legal side of HIPAA along with the practical side of creating the training all on your own. If you forget to add some details to your HIPAA training, it could mean the difference between compliance and non-compliance for your entire organization and workforce. You might not even have a legal team that specializes in knowing the complexities of HIPAA. Time can also be a major issue with this strategy as well. Do you spend hours doing research creating the presentations and taking the time to present every time you hire someone new? Do you hire someone for the sole purpose of creating the training and evaluating the scores? Do you know how to create proof that each person employed by the organization completed the training and actually passed it and retained the information? What even qualifies as a passing HIPAA training module? Would an auditor accuse you of creating false data related to the completion of the training? I don't have the answers to all of these questions that I just asked. Instead, you need to think about the answers to these questions before deciding to create your own HIPAA training. The answer could mean the difference between winning and losing legal battles in the end. As you can see, there are many layers of complexity related to HIPAA certifications. There are many decisions that you need to make and many variables at play. To actually get HIPAA certified, you must have staff that regularly takes and passes HIPAA training. Now you can make the training yourself, or you can hire a third party who specializes in making such a training. 
As I said at the beginning of this video, the list of decisions involved with this process feels like it's a mile long. If you'd like to learn more about HIPAA trading and reach out to me tactics, and you're aiming at this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below. But what are you waiting for? Subscribe to our YouTube channel.